instantaneous communication, a primary need of our complex society. Since 1947, a UN body called the International Telecommunication Union, or ITU, has been in charge of international technical standards. Delegates from 193 countries have regulated everything from radio frequencies to satellite orbits. Their mission, to make sure networks and technologies easily interconnect. But according to the internet giant Google, and highlighted in this online video, the ITU could be about to take steps to reduce the free flow of information on the web. It says if proposals being heard at the ITU conference in Dubai are accepted, there will be an increase in censorship and national regulation. Free and open web depends on me. This draft proposal from Russia seeks to give individual countries the right to regulate both the content and the structure of the internet within their own borders. Currently more than 40 countries, including China and Russia, do this, though without official sanction. Then there's a draft proposal from 17 Arab states. They want identity information of users to be sent with all online communication. They say this will cut down on fraud, but it could also be used to target political dissidents. And unfortunately, some of the proposals that we see would take the old telephone model of regulation and simply apply it to new technologies like the Internet. That would not be a good thing. The Internet gives us the freedom to talk with friends, make art, start a business, or speak out against our governments. The ITU has hit back at its critics, including the makers of this video, saying all ITU members are welcome to submit proposals. It says though changes can be made with a simple majority, in the past nothing has been decided unless there was unanimous agreement, avoiding any need to vote. I certainly would like to wouldn't see uh, any country proposing an issue to be a matter of voting. Voting means winners and losers in our jargon in ITU, and we cannot afford that. The US, Europe and a number of Asian countries have promised to fight any changes that would affect internet freedom. But with battle lines drawn, this conference could well be a historic turning point for the internet. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.